everybody. Welcome back to another Slime Fun episode here in my survival world. I'm your host, Boomer, and today, da, 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 yeah, we're going to start the painful grind. Actually, we've already started the painful grind into Supreme, but I made a mistake. I decided to also dive into EMC Tech at the same time. Now, either one on their own is challenging and takes some time to work through. Uh, both at the same time, I kind of felt like I took a sledgehammer to my head uh, and then hit my head with an axe and then decided to stare and watch paint dry for 24 hours. Um, it was painful. It was horrible. I will never start both add-ons at the same time again. I like both add-ons a lot. It's just, it was too much. So let me kind of update where you were at. We have four of the six cores automated and we're not going to be automating the core of color because it's not actually used anywhere. Um, the Supremes that make up the core are, but the core itself are not. So we have 81 core blocks. We have 19 core of death. We have 95 core of ally, which I figured this is the one I'm worried about. It's core of life. Three. I'm having some production issues here and, and I guess, if you've ever looked into what makes up the cores of Supreme, uh, you'll understand why. Now, I'm also doing some base remodeling at the same time. Remember, if you've been around long enough, you heard me say your slime fun base will undergo multiple transitions over time, especially if you want to keep it neat and organized. So uh, here we go. I've had to add a whole lot more cloches to try to keep up with Supreme. I've added another 42 tech gens just for honey. Uh, I have the berserk bees on level one being added. So they're not speeding the gens up much. It's one second off per cycle, but it still helps. Um, over here, we have a number of EMC materializers and dematerializers running. I'm actually dematerializing advanced quarries. <laughs> if you can imagine it, I'm dematerializing advanced quarries just to give myself some EMC because they dematerialize at like half a million or at some insane number. Let's take a look. What was it? Oh, I got to get one in there to actually read it. Uh, but it's a pretty big number of EMC that it brings because I was trying to automate the Demet, uh, no, yeah, dematerializer or material, wait a minute, one of the level threes. I think it was the materializer. And I needed to turn this uh, into, I actually have to make one, I have to make a dematerializer five to automate the materializer threes because the divergent coal blocks, if I remember right, materialize at like 2.3 million EMCs. The only one that can handle that is 11.5 materializer. So I'm having to make with the raw resources of a level three materializer to a level five. It's kind of like saying, okay, we're going to make all six quarters of Supreme in a minute. It just isn't going to happen. Um, so as far as kind of like restructuring and reworking, I've actually added another tier to the central core of storage unit, and I'm starting to expand my production as well as increase the number of smelteries. So everything you see here is on its way out being moved to that side. I also have another problem, the carbon production. You're thinking, Boomer, you got to be kidding me, right? You have 154 uh, of the Oh, I forget what the air, pure, not air purifier, these stupid things, right? There's 154 of these things gathering carbon dioxide, air compressors, and then 154 turning it into carbon. I also now have uh, 42 ore grinders breaking down diamonds into carbon. Now, I actually did increase the number of carbon presses, making compressed carbon to 20, which is what put me far behind. Here's one thing to kind of keep in mind is that at some point your storage units will fill up, right? So now I'm running a 2 million storage unit on steel ingots and that's why I'm running out of carbon because I have 28 
smelteries, uh, sorry, Infinity Expansion's advanced smelteries making steel ingots. I'm tearing through carbon, you know, like it's, it's water. But eventually that will fill up. So my carbon will, at some point, build back up. And actually, I think I have 42 steels running. Let's take a look here. Let's see. Yeah, I actually have 42 smelteries making steel ingots. Then I have 28 making Damascus, 14 making mag steel. Uh, and then the rest of those are cobble, dust, and infinity extractors. Then we've started the next level. So there's 28 bronze. There's 10 Corinthian, 14 or 18 aluminum bronze. Anyways, uh, and even with all these are here, there's probably going to be another 120 added. And, and here's why. We're playing in the end game, right? And so you've got to be able to get resources back quickly. It's not that I'm on a public server trying to make so much that I can undercut everybody in price. That has nothing to do with it. But when I start having to EMC dematerialize advanced quarries, well, it's chewing up an insane amount of resources. So when I stop using that and I switch to void quarries, <laughs> Or if I switch to void panels or celestial panels or something else that I have thousands of lying around, it chews all those resources up insanely quick. So I want to be able to replenish my supplies quickly. So over the next couple of days, I'm going to finish pulling all of these out, moving it. Actually, I'm hoping by tonight I have it all done, getting everything over to here. Uh, and, and it includes all the new small trees I'm going to add. The next big thing I want to look into is this. Uh, we're getting some visual lag from the sheer amount of item frames. Um, and so I might actually take these outside of the central area. It's going to cost me like an extra, I don't know what, 15 of the network bridges to move it outside. So it doesn't load when I'm in here, which might actually help because there's what? 300 item frames there. That one is going to get combined into one as well. And then the question is, well, first of all, these, but the bigger issue is the sheer freaking volume of cloches and the tech gens. I mean, come on. And I don't even have half up what I need yet. Right? You look at that. So, unfortunately, there's not easy ways to, to make a lot of these things. What will eventually happen is once I have enough Supreme Accelerator, Berserk, Cloning, Lucky Bees, or Golems, then I'll be able to drop down the number of resources. But I'm nowhere near there yet, right? I'm just now getting the level one Berserk Bee, or Berserk Golems in here. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. We have the four core started the the next machine that i need uh, where's my guide oh i must have i must have chucked it all right the next machine that we need is to increase the successful creation of golems the, in other words the the cloner ones right that's that's the next big thing so let's go in here go into supreme machines the tech mutation 2 so what do we need? Well, I actually have the conveyance and the inductor machines done. Um, we have a Tech Mutation 1 in place. Sentrans Lumium, not too bad of a deal. I've got all four of those cores and the rest of the materials I have. So that's done, essentially. The Sentrus Ignis, core block, I have like 100 of those. The rest of that stuff I have, no problem. Here's where I'm about to get kicked. Thorn Array. Because... Thornium ingots. I have no Supreme Quarries built up. I have the alloys. I have all three of those, all four. Um, I don't have adamantium made, but it looks like I can make it very quickly. What's going to kill me is a Thornium ingot. Right, so now I need to make a Thornium Quarry. This is where it's going to get a little hairy. All right, so again, two Centros Lumens. So four of, or two more of each core. Uh, the Ally Adamantium, so there's no problem there. Crystallizer machines. So I can make the Supreme Emeralds and Diamonds, no problem. Stainless Petrifying your Doctor, just a little bit of work, no problem. I can automate this. 
but that's just to get the thornium core, right? Then I got to go back through each one. So core of death, right? Two of those. Um, it's a lot of work. I might be actually in a position to make it, but the reason you want to tech mutation too isn't for making these genes. That's a 100% chance. Here's why you want the tech mutation twos. It goes from a 20 to a 40% chance of successfully making the next level golem, zombie, or bee. So instead of one out of five, I get two out of five, which will greatly speed up my abilities. Although, again, it's only level one, but I could shoot level ones through to get level twos. But that's going to help ultimately start to reduce the amount of tech gens I have. So you kind of get the idea, right? You need one to speed up two, two to speed up three, which speeds up one. It's not like it's one does the other. You need two or three things to get going. So I want to continue to do some cleanup. I want to get that machine built so that I can replace my level one down here. Right? I have one of them just to make the intelligent things, and then I've got one more that's level one that is making my level one uh, berserk. Oh, didn't tell if that one was successful. Anyways, you get the idea. We got some work to do. Let me get started. So we'll get back to the supreme part in a minute, but I've been busting my tail <laughs> trying so hard to reorganize this base. We have, I, I lost track, but I think, let's see, I want to say I've got, oh gosh, I don't even know how many are here anymore. <laughs> there's there's literally like almost 200 autocrafters already set up. There's roughly 30 that still don't have their items yet. And there are, it's hard to tell, they're right back there. There's still a few more that need to come over for EMC tech. But at least now it's in a better place it's isolated the one part of my base so the visual lag hasn't been as bad and we've you know what i just need to jump down from here let's see if i can do this relatively easy here we go uh 2280 network units or nodes are connected just to this network i've actually changed my network um my grid or my network controller to 2500 Per network so I am gonna push it a little bit uh, I know at that number it's safe I was trying to stay at 2,000 but honestly I just couldn't quite do it and since I own the server why not <laughs> so there is quite a bit Wow that was a really pathetic jump I can't believe I just did that let's try that again okay so in some cases there's just insane amounts of resources you know there's like I said there's 42 steel there's tons and tons. Uh, I think I have right now 76, gosh darn it, I did it again. 76 carbon press threes running, just making compressed carbon. This is how I'm trying to get back in the game. I actually tore through something like 32,000 carbonados while I was moving all of that. Uh, I don't know how that happened, but I made a lot of deep, deep end resources. So down here, I have a lot of hole patching to do, as you're seeing throughout the base. This, again, some lag still visually. Um, I still need to clean this up and reorganize it. And there are still just a few autocrafters left. To try to help with some of this, I got rid of a bunch of the infinity void, I'm sorry, just the void harvesters, the bits. I took all those down and got rid of them. I have seven dragon and dragon generators for mob simulation chambers running. So I figured I didn't need all those machines. Left another big hole that I got a patch. Um, and then now let's update Supreme. So let's kind of go back here what we're doing. My target for now to try to increase some speed was to get level four berserk golems. I'm up to 29 level fours. The system has been running for eight days and my server has not shut off and these are the spawn chunks. Now every so often I do have to go in because there is, as, as you guys all know, Supreme has a few quirky issues that needed some code fixing. So I actually now have three uh, machines making berserk genes. I have two tech mutation twos running to create the level ones. So here's what happens. 
when one side runs out because you're putting ones on both sides. If one side runs out, the other side will fill up, but it doesn't put one in the other side. So did you see what happened? It just refilled again. So one of those little quirky things in Supreme that I'll probably open up a GitHub issue for Relativo. I know he's not active, but it stopped the production of level twos. Now I only have 23 level twos. That's fine. I'll just split it now. Level threes, I'll go ahead and split them out. So when I get 32 of them, I'm going to go ahead and pull them out at level four and stick those into the tech generator that I need the most. What is it going to do? <laughs> well, it might move one of them from, from 12 minutes down to nine, eight. <laughs> I'm not going to gain a ton of time. It, it's just five times faster processing, right? But that's not for the generator. That's for that slot. So instead of cutting off one second per tick, it'll cut off five seconds per tick, I believe. So that generator, like I said, in Southern at 12 minutes, maybe it runs at eight, maybe it runs at nine. It increases a little bit. The other one will start, besides the Berserk, is also the lucky one. And then we're going to also look into, I, I can't believe I'm doing this. I looked at the Supreme level threes and forget it. Uh, well, I have the resources. I have Supremes automated. I've tried Thorium ingots or whatever the, the big one is in Supreme automated. That's not what I'm looking for. I also need to get the robotic techs done. And so these are the ones that you craft and then use 64 to upgrade, or if you can upgrade your tech robotic machine to the second level. Let's see, where are we here? There we go. So to make a one, no big deal. It's a core block. I've got the rest of this stuff in ample supply. So I can make a ton of these machines to get started making level one golems. But to make the level twos, Centrus, Ignis, and Lumen, I can do. I've got Thornerite, I've got Inductors, and i got Conveyance. So I can make the level 2s right off the bat for each one to get it down to 32. It's a level 3 one that scares the living daylights out of me because this. The attribute impetus is a pain in it, and you know what? Aqua, Ignis, Lumen, Ventus. So right there, there's like 10 cores, and then we got two more cores of death. And then we've got more attribute bonds and magic and more centrist. And you see the, the nightmare that you're looking at here, plus two more cores. So the level three machines, um, you know, at some point when I have a day to kill, I'll make one <laughs> to get down to 16 robots. I'm definitely well, 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 way away from this. Supreme, this again, this is one of those things where you spend hours pouring in to get a resource to upgrade one machine to increase its capacity by 5% or 10%. And then you spend hours running this slightly ever so faster to get the cores ever so faster to get another machine to go slightly full faster to make the next machine slightly faster. You see, it, it's one of those that this truly, I, I could easily see me spending a year just in Supreme and never getting everything to the end, right? I can build up resources after resources. I can keep adding tons of cloches or tech gens or whatever else I've got, right? Infinity expansions, quarries, what, uh, whoops, what was that? Um, I could use the Dynatech growth chambers. I, I can create all sorts of things to help. But this is just one of those that is just, painfully slow and takes time and you have to accept it and so we'll keep working on it we'll keep adding it and increasing it but i tell you what i want to do just a little bit more work before we wrap this episode up and come back so let me get a few more things done and then we'll wrap today up hey everybody so over the last eight or nine days we've got everything moved uh, we've upgraded a number of machines. We're running all advanced smelteries all top tier grinders smelteries uh, furnaces you name it um, in some cases, we've moved machines that are no longer necessary. The storage tower now sits at seven layers, which honestly probably didn't need to happen, but long term, it's still going to make things a little bit easier for me. 
Uh, I have to redo this storage unit. It's still kind of chaotic, as is this one. But I just wanted to give you an update because the goal here also is to remove about 90% of this at some point by upgrading tech gens with the, the best possible, fastest way of producing resources, which is two accelerators, two cloners, level nine, 32 of each, gives you nine stacks in 78 seconds. Right now, I make a stack every seven to eight minutes on the two fastest ones. So a lot of these will be able to go bye-bye. We're even using Stoneworks Factory to help create glass. Anyways, so the two things that I want to, whoops, sorry about that. Things I want to get done next would be to get the level one robot and level two golem tech mutation machines up to actually get this to a level three machine. That has an 80% success rate. This one only has a 40% success rate. So it, the crafting recipe is, is pretty significant. Uh, if you haven't looked at it yet, I think I briefly showed it off. Whoops. I have the Supremes. I have the Crystallizers. I have the Thornerite. I have the Mutation. Making these aren't too bad. It's this. It's the Impetus. It's tons and tons of Centruses being made. A uh, couple cores. Actually, it's quite a few cores. Here, six more Centruses, two more cores. Oh, uh, and we got to do that two more times plus another core. Um... And then the attribute bomb for more cores. So there's a lot of work, but I have the resources. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do the grind. I'm going to get at least level one and level two to 80% success rates. That will transfer a ton of the robots, or in this case, the mutants, uh, mutant golems, uh, many, many more, you know, double my success rate. So instead of two out of five, four out of five will success to the next level which will get me those higher levels much, much faster, start speeding up the machines, which means I can cut back on how many machines and reduce lag. Now, I'll still provide updates on Supreme and everything else that we've done as we go, but we are now, we're going to kind of put on hold and let the machines run their courses for a bit. And we're going to dig into advanced, I'm sorry, uh, not advanced tech, um, slide frame. There's a number of machines I want to bring in, plus I want to start have to break into the relics to get some of the end game machines. Some of them that I'm looking at are the glass generators because one sand equals 12 glass, which is a great thing. Uh, the sulfate one is okay. Um, four basalt, the 32 uh, sulfate. Granted, I can do that with one basalt generator from uh, FAL, but I'd have to repair it periodically. So it's not the greatest one. But it still helps. The flower generator would be nice. The mangrove one would be great. And we want to integrate the auto traders at some point as well. Uh, so we're going to start working on that. I don't know how many of these generators we'll produce. We'll take a look. Uh, I have void panels backed up beyond belief to make infinity panels. So I've got enough power. So we might not play along with that. But we will look into the gear and utilities to see what we can get but guys we're going to wrap this up and uh with our next episode like i said we'll start getting into that uh let's get some light hey there we go so anyways i want to thanks for watching guys I appreciate it and don't forget when you're playing slap fun you gotta go boomer or you gotta go home we'll see you later